So, vielen Dank. Thank you Noch very zwei much. Sekunden für die Kameras. Two für seconds die for the cameras and for the photographers. Uh, we, mit der We can get started with the press conference of the Italian uh, movie uh, in a memoria, the main memory of myself, which is in competition. First of all, I would like to introduce our guests. We start with the very right, Gianpaolo Letta. He's the co-producer. Der Produzent Mario Giannani. The producer Mario Giannani. André Hennecke, Schauspieler. André Hennecke, Actor. Filippo Timi, Filippo Schauspieler. Timi, Actor. The director is Saverio Costanzo. The schauspieler Christo then Schivkov. The actor Christo Shivkov. Marco Bagliani. Marco Bagliani, he's an actor as well. And another Fausto actor, Fausto Russo Alesi. So if we're gonna the first question. Right, I would like to ask the first question. Everything started with a book with a novel. Il Gesuita Perfetto is the title of this book, uh, written by Furri Monicelli. You read this book. Was it rather a coincidence? Or was it rather that you had a very close look into this book? Did, did you look for some interpreting? Um, hello, good morning everybody, first of all. I think I'll have to eh, no, get rid of my headphones. Sì, no, the, the book, film, yes, appunto, it's true. The movie is inspired di by the book. The book Mario is a point Giannani. of departure, um, Mario Giannani. Sinuosa, um, I uh, gave me this book uh, to read. He suggested to me that I should read it. Uh, after uh, we had done the first non, movie, Private. Libro molto bello. It's a very beautiful book, Però really. Il tema era but the, the topic was not always easy, uh, of course. E poi dopo un di fare cosa, then, then we insomma, tried to do something else, but we, it didn't really work out. And after that, del, del, there was the idea of this closed unico, space, of this unique nuovo, location. Uh, film, uh, and we had this idea of a new movie, a movie about freedom. It was a, a, a resulted from the first one. The first one didn't uh, deal with uh, private freedom. So it was a whole path we followed. That is, uh, we had to look into uh, one's own freedom. And it was a challenge for us to uh, talk about the choice of this freedom and to, to um, not to have this freedom any longer. It was a consequence, and this is a very important aspect of the movie. And this book was a point of departure. The, the people are taken from the book. Uh, the book was a great uh, inspiration for us to create the characters. We had a lot of discussions with the author of the book. Not everything could be uh, shown in the movie, but it was a point of departure we had with the book. 
e molto altro poi il film è diventato and then the movie che was a fatto. true experience a experience of what we film, did that is um, we had a, we prepared this movie I think they're the first questions already. We've got two microphones for you to ask the questions. Here in the centre of the room, there's the first question. Uh, I speak Italian, if that's all right with you. I'm, I would like to talk about the characters of the movie. Um, sometimes it's about these survivors of the Holocaust, how they, how they move and everything, especially in the images that they uh, remember. There's something about it in there. Um, could you link these two things, these two societies, the society of the ho true Holocaust and then the one of the technology we have and now? No. Interessante. Non lo so, ora. I don't know. Il paragone è azzardato, però. Well, it's a uh, it's a dead comparison really to compare this with the Holocaust. Uh, the, the characters suffer a lot in the movie. It was a trial. We tried to create uh, in an emotional state with these characters and we were always close to the abyss really it, it, it we seem to be just before the abyss in the movie it was something very inter internal i don't know if this can be compared well it is difficult definitely sociologically probably you can compare it maybe uh, the period in which we live is also a holocaust uh, but I don't know if this is the case but for sure there's the necessity uh, for these characters to live a full life uh, to live an absolute life without getting lost Nella quotidianità, in their everyday strazi, lives without dire, um, uh, getting carried away alto, but they have very high attention in opposizione, naturalmente, al and this mondo, is cioè, contrary to the world of course fuori. because the world outside is in completely different so it's contrary to this they step uh, over the entrance uh, and then they are uh, completely different uh, from the world outside but they go on living of course they have some contact through the windows of course yeah there's another question in the second row there in Italian, hello, I'm Robert Torcona from Liberazione. Um, I don't know. Um, if I, I say something very strange, if I say it's a love movie, not only homosexual love, but in the book I've got the uh, impression there are more specific aspects relating to homosexuality. I'm asking yourself if this is the case, and why did you leave this out of the movie almost uh, entirely? There's a, also a tension, uh, and this is a love tension, really. Yes, I can feel that too, definitely. But uh, it is not really wanted. We didn't have the intention to do this. But the book is characterized by the fact that uh, in the 60s something was told that was not supposed to be told. And to me, it is also a love movie, but not physical love we're talking about.